Hello guys, we have some latest and important updates from Starbase. A barge carrying tons of SpaceX's cargo has arrived at Port Isabel this morning. From Lab Padre's camera, we can see, on board the barge are a few tanks including some helium tanks, a super heavy booster transport stand, two water deluge manifolds, and some pipes for the deluge system. Preparation for the static fire of Booster 7 is in full swing. Early morning yesterday, crews replaced one Raptor on Booster 7. This was the third Raptor replaced on the booster since wet dress rehearsal. No doubt, a water deluge system is coming under the orbital launch mount. But, what will be interesting to see is the timing of its construction, whether it will be ready before the orbital test flight, or afterward for future missions. Another speculation is that, a second Starship launch tower is coming up at Starbase. What about those tanks? Are they meant for addition to the orbital tank farm or destined for Massey's test facility? Either way, these are still significant upgrades to Starbase. SpaceX launched its eighth mission of the year yesterday. Another batch of 53 Starlink satellites was sent to orbit by a Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This was the fifth flight of this booster and successfully landed on the drone ship. The next mission is the Amazonas Nexus mission on February 5th from SLC-40 at Cape. Unconfirmed reports suggest that United Launch Alliance's test flight mission of its new rocket, Vulcan Rocket Cert-1 mission may slip to May. Although it was supposed to launch in the first quarter of 2023, the heavy lift vehicle still has to pass critical tests like the static fire test and wet dress rehearsal. Currently, the rocket is inside the vehicle integration facility at Cape, and stacking of the rocket's first stage and the second stage is ongoing. With Boeing's first crewed flight mission, the CTF mission slated to launch in April from SLC-41, the first Vulcan mission may well slip to May, because Atlas V and Vulcan rockets share the same launch pad at SLC-41. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the updates. Thank you for watching.